Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. Have you missed me? It's kind of become a, a thing on the channel. Jurassic World Live and Jurassic World The Game all in one. Maybe we can get another one. Ooh, maybe Primal Ops. I don't know. Why are we here in Jurassic World The Game? Well, you've already seen the thumbnail and the title. And that is because we have done it. Can we get a confetti? We did it. <laughs> we have unlocked blue. So if we go into here and we go into this. Yeah, there it is. I think I deliberately didn't open a Raptor Riot Pack. Is there another one? Oh, no, we've opened that one. So we've got this. Open this. Ooh, 20 bucks. Oh, I'm spoiled rotten. <laughs> also, we have 25,000 bucks. They just don't stop going. Oh, here we go. Blue. It is not unlocked. If I said it's unlocked, it's not, unfortunately. Now it's saying it's not owned when it is owned. So if we wanted to, we could spend nine pound and we immediately unlock all of this. So we get like hundreds of books, we get thousands of DNA, you get like a Carno Raptor, you get these sorts of packs, there's not really much in them. You also get like mega DNA packs for like, th which is just so good. It's, I think in comparison to Jurassic World Alive's version of the, uh, the, the pass or the season pass, this is way better because this v Super Raptor DNA gives you Indo Indoraptor if you've got like I don't know what you need. You need like Indominus Rex level 40, something like that. Either way, it's really frigging good because Indoraptor at level 10 is, is it's like one of the best creatures in the entire game. And you don't need to get it to level 20. You don't need to get level 30 or 40 for it to be good. At level 10, it's got like 2,000 attack and like 3,000 health. You do that as best you get. <laughs> We're not at the point where you need like 20,000 health. Oh yeah, minimum 20,000 health. I don't think we'll ever get there. But you also get all this, all of this other stuff. So you do get another, you get a macro. So you get what, 80, 160, 320 from that. And then you get, whoa, 640? So it's 960. Uh, Velociraptor DNA, uh, about, it says up to. So you'll probably get like two or three under, maybe five or ten possibly. So you, I think you need 4,000 or 2,000 to unlock Indoraptor. But either way, you, you're getting very close to it. And you've already got it unlocked. You've almost got another one, I'd say. So it's very good. I'm not going to do it just because I don't really need to do it. And <laughs> I've spent enough money in looting games to last me like ten lifetimes, if we're going to be honest. Um, but we do have some of this to open as well. So we'll... Uh, Harvest all of this DNA. It's kind of what I'm doing because I've got a plethora of books and there's there's no real trade uh, That's gonna give me books for DNA. That's worth it um, Ever <laughs> you never see 50 books for 2,000 DNA. Oh, I'll take that but in the incubators 50 books for 1,250 DNA you could do that. You just need the creatures is the only thing. So we'll collect some DNA from here. I think we're close. We've got two days left on the hatches and then two days left on the speed ups. And there's something else as well here. Here it is, the recovery. So I've already done all the recoveries. We'll open up a pack here because why not? We need even more DNA. We've also got 41 million food, which you'll be pleasantly surprised with. Um, and that is because we just, I got lucky with the trade. It was like 30 million coin or 40 million coin for 20 million food. Like, Hell yeah, I'm going to do that. Awesome. So we can now, I think, start to get towards Zalmonodon, I think. Oh, Nullify is actually pretty good. Oops. Oh, well, there, there goes that. So we got more so an Apatosaurus skeleton for a million food as well. Um, and then this one, increased HP of full team. Ah, I don't really care about that, so we may as well sell that. Um, there was something here. I can't remember. So we'll collect some of that food as well. Let's have a look. Zalmonodon is definitely something. We've also got a new creature coming to the game as well. It should be Tyrannodons. It'll be one of these hybrids. It'll be very good. Yes, there it is. So it's 3 million of them. So 10 of them is 30 million. And we need to do 9. So um, it's going to go high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, there we go. So that's 30 million gone now. 8,547 health and 2,671 attack. One of the best flies in the entire game. 
Um, I mean, not better than Metrophodon, I think, but it's debatable because Metrophodon doesn't actually have too much attack. Oh, sorry, health. Um, so we've got a couple of things to do. We do have this if we want to speed that up as well. But if we look in the news, this is coming soon. A flightless feathers, a new creature is ready to flock this way. So I think this is a tournament that's going to go over the weekend. And I think it's an Ornithomimus. By the looks of it, I don't think we have Ornithomimus in the game. But... It looks quite similar to the one that we've seen in Jurassic World Alive. So it wouldn't surprise me if they just took that model and put it in this one. But really, what we're here for as well is blue. And unfortunately, I don't know why they've done it. And now, I missed out on Bumpy. But thankfully, uh, Ludia were kind enough to give me Bumpy to showcase. So I do have Bumpy, but it's not unlocked. And unfortunately, it's the same thing with blue. So I, I even though we've done the event... Um, I haven't unlocked it. It's interesting that it's got like a different background. It's not a tournament. It's a tournament plus something else. Like you've got legendary tournament and then I think VIP looks a bit different as well. So we're going to pop you in for 250. Instantly hatch you. Yeah. So it's weird to have two blues in your park, but it's a state of things and where we're at at the moment. So I don't think it's going to get a new kind of eating animation. I'd be very surprised if it does. Nope. It just... It's something. We, it's a mystery meat. We don't need to know. That's irrelevant. But here it is at level 10, 460 health and 336 attack. So better than a regular raptor, even on par with a legendary. But it is not unlocked, unfortunately. And here we are with the 275 uh, DNA. I think if I, I do the best I can in this, I can get about 400 DNA. Because I did one exactly like this last night. It was like five uh, super DNA as well as 275 max DNA you could get. So hopefully, I did it last night, maybe we can get another 400 DNA. It's really nothing to be sniffed at. The amount of DNA you get in this is really good. Super DNA, yeah, it's debatable, it's free. Oh! <laughs> Come on, we got this, man. We got this. This will be a long one. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're probably going to have to do another one. Come on. Come on, just one. No! <laughs> that was too weak. No. We could have got like 500 in. Maybe 200. It's not bad. We'll also collect some coin while we're here. Ooh, we're on the wrong one. There it is. Use the new blob. Boom. We can edit. Oh, <gasps> So we haven't... What do we need? 180. Are these all... Oh, and then these ones you buy. Oh, wow. Oh, we... What's the most expensive? 200, 200, 200. So all of these, do I not unlock? Or do I need to just... Hologram color? Yeah, I never I never look at these. So let's have a look. Where, where is this? It's here, right? So you need Titanoboa. Does it tell you what comes up afterwards? Oh, there's still quite a bit I don't have. Cenozoic Research Focus have level 40 plus hybrids. Oh, who would do this? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, I mean, you unlock Tapi Jala? Yeah. I mean, maybe the radius goes up, but I, I don't know if it does. It tells you we've got a 48 radius, which pretty much covers everything in the park. Yeah, there's not a single thing, even over here, that isn't collected. I wonder if you put it at this side here, the very corner of Isla Nublar, if it would go all the way over and you'd get some Isla Sauna as well. That'd be quite interesting to test out. So, we got seven days, so in, in a week's time, this is going to refresh. And I think it's also refreshing at the same time as Jurassic World Alive's um, season pass. So, it'll be interesting to see if they do any changes, because... Just World Live, I think, was way too expensive and went on for far too long. And this one is just really good. But I don't think the prizes are, are great. Even to, for spending... I mean, if you spend money, the nine quid, it's really good. But the free prizes aren't great. I mean, even if I spent the nine pound on that season pass, I wouldn't unlock blue. And there's no way for me to unlock it. Which sucks because, you know, we've done it. But we, we just don't get it. <laughs> where is it? Blue, where'd you go? Blue, there you are. No, that's a mon lost. Wait, where? <laughs> Ooh, I've lost it. I've done a terrible job. Where are you? Not super hybrids. Carnivores. And you're probably going to be near the bottom, I think, because you're new. <gasps> oh, you're not. There you are. 
Go to blue. What do we, we get? Some fact. Blue is a fiercely loyal velociraptor, making conscious decisions about where her loyalties lie. This is the contra in contrast to most other dinosaurs who act on instinct. So the next two is level 40, and it's a bit like Bumpy. It just kind of gets the blue haze. Not much changes, but it does a 1,432 health and a 1,000 attack. Ooh, you know what? That's not so bad. But at the moment, there is no way to, you know, kind of get blue. Um, I mean, we could sell it for 3,700, which is actually a lot. If we sold... A yeah, look at that. Well, that's 40,000. Never mind. This is only 3,000. So, no. It's not on par with Zalmonodon. But we still do have two eggs just to use up. It's 250 bucks, I think. Yeah, we've got two eggs. So, we'll have a look at our dinosaur roster. Um, is there a way if we just put all Jurassic? Can I organize them? Yeah, DNA cost. Okay, so here we go. So, we don't have Iguanasuchus. And I think we only have one. So, we could... Buy that, speed it up. However, we do need the DNA. I've <laughs> just realized we only have 48,000 of that DNA. Um, do I, is, when it has that, does it mean... No, okay, it doesn't mean that. Oh, another co-19. Oh, it's only 90. Nah, sod it. No one cares about that one. So what we'll do is we'll... 153 bucks to get that. You know, we've got so many bucks. I don't care. May as well get a free. So... Ooh. Ooh. Best thing here is actually my two flyers. Zalmonodon and Metrophodon. And I guess to clean up, you could put a new Don. I think that's a good team. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this one. I also, uh, you know, I do, if I have the opportunity, I'll do some other card packs. Um, and, or like card pack events. And the reason for that is what I used to do with the daily missions is I would just open a 2000 VIP point pack. And because I need three packs. So I just log in the game, get my free pack, watch the advert to get another free mystery pack. And then I would just be like, oh, well, if I haven't, you know, opened a pack in the um, the boosts or the mods, whatever you want to call them, I'll just open a 2000, you know, decoration VIP pack. But now I realize I could have saved a lot of DNA points, <laughs> VIP points. <laughs> so because Zalmonodon's attack isn't that great, I'm just going to go for reserves here. I could have went for one block at least. To save it, but you know, this time we'll go for four and then we'll go for three block. So if it does want to kill me, it has to go for five. And luckily it does have five. So you never know. We make it five. Oh, we get four. So we survived. It's got one block. Now, now, do we get more attacks for just piling up as Almonanon's attacks? Or do we get more with using Metrophodon? Metrophodon. Metrophodon. Um, but minus one attack. I think you probably get more just doing that. Yeah. I think four attacks either way would probably kill it. And I'd save this way. So five factoring the one extra. And then three reserves. I'm going to say pretty confidently that's that complete. We'll also do some uh, mega boss like Godzilla bosses as well in this game. Just because we haven't done them in a while. And I can't, you know, what DNA? I think it only costs books to enter those battles. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I think it's only got two block. So this isn't so bad. I will switch into Udon because that poster suit just has like 7,000 attack at base. So if it was against the Udon, it would have like a 10,000, which would kill me in like two hits. So one, two, three, and then factor in two, and then one reserve. So it doesn't even matter what it went for. It went for one. And now I think what's the attack? Oh God, it could almost kill me with one hit. Okay. Oh no, it only had one. Never mind. I'm an idiot. So one, two, three. It's only got one block. Metrophodon comes in with like seven, almost 8,000 attack, kills it in two. Uh, it has two blocks at so one, two, dead, one, two, and then we could have went for one block because why not? But I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it just in case. No, 100% gonna rely on my math skills here. I'm not stupid. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> so we got that. We got ooh, more DNA, some 50 bucks as well. So I guess it reimburses us somewhat. But we also get some VIP points. We're slowly clawing back. <gasps> Ooh, if we wanted to, we could. Ooh, we, you know, there's a chance we could get 750 bucks there. But at the same time, we don't have any refreshers on our dinosaurs. So as much as I'd like to do, I don't think it's worth it. Also, yeah, the, the, these things, which are actually pretty decent. And I haven't really been paying attention to them. I keep forgetting about them. Like, what's this? 
look at that. That is a that's a pretty solid team. And then the Rarity Rumble is even more solid, if that's a word, which it definitely isn't. Uh, so we'll do the boss event, because we've timed a strike. We finally unlocked it. Um, and it does cost... 30, we've got a power move. So what, what should we select for the power move? I think the revive's always good, but the Road of Champions. Increase HP and attack for the team. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, and then our best situation is Valkyrie, I suppose. It's just a good streamer. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so let's go in and hopefully we have the health to survive this. I think we can do it. Um, we'll go for reserves. And then if I can just keep on increasing the HP and attack for the entire team, I'll be happy. I just want to survive. I think Salamander used to be able to just go for like its armor until it was basically invincible. But now I think they've changed that so you can't do it. Because otherwise, I would have just maxed up that thing and not done uh, Omega 09. So we're slowly getting there. So one, two, and there we go. We'll do our power move. Yes, look at the roar. Oh, it looks like it's going to do special beam cannon. <laughs> so 800 extra uh, attack and 4,000 extra health. Okay, and then we'll just go for full. Because I'm, if I die, I die. If I die, I die. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, is it going to do any more to its... Oh, it is. Oh, it went for it. So now I think it's just giving itself armor, I think. I think it has. Yeah, it's giving itself 24% armor. Okay. I think it also gives itself some block at the same time. So I don't think there's really any need for me to... You know, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, we may as well, because this way we took some damage, but we also get it back. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. I love this. I love that it just went all out with the animation. Another 800, and then another 6,000 health, so around 15,000. I think we're pretty good here. I'll go for four reserves again, because if I survive next... Yeah, look there. I think it gets two, so it must put one extra in. Two, four, six, eight. So if it wanted to, it could do another armor. Um, but it doesn't. It tries to do more damage to me. Um, which, you know what? You can do as much as you want. Um, hopefully when I do attacks, it factors in that armor. And I don't have to, like, calculate on me fingies <laughs> how much damage I need to do. So this is the third time. How much damage can we give our entire team? A lot, I think. So that's another 800 and another 10,000 this time. Okay, and then we'll just keep on going. So an 11,000, so it still needs to go for loads. Um, it could... Oh, it's not going to. I think maybe if it gets to 60%, then it will sort of just add the extras. Because then it's only two, I think. It only has to go for two. So we'll do again. Yes, a fourth one. We just keep powering up. Pump it up. Get huge. I don't know if we get more attack each time, do we? Or is it always 10,000 health? Oh, 15,000. So we're getting more and more health each time. Ooh, this is great. Okay, so what are you going to do? You've got... Ooh, yeah, you'll definitely go for it. It'll probably go for two into its extra armor. I need to kill this thing quick now, though. I need to kill it quick because it's got a lot of armor. 24 armor, 24%, and now what? Is it, ooh, it doubles. It's basically got 50% armor. Okay. Right, so I'm kind of tempted now to switch in uh, the Valkyrie here. Which has how much damage? That doesn't seem like that that much. It only has 19 or 1900. Okay, so one, two. Oh, wait, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do that, actually. Because he's going to have block. Yeah, he's going to have block. So we shouldn't have done that there. My bad. But luckily, it only has 220 attack now. Which is brilliant. So it might even swap out. We'll see. Ah, uh, okay, here it comes. Hopefully it loses its armor once it swaps out. I don't think it will, though. Oh, you went for an attack. Oh, brilliant. Thank God I had one left over. I don't know how much you've got, but I kill you in two. So I'll factor in two anyway, and then just go for four. Of oh, we killed it. Sweet. Didn't even get its revive off. Brilliant. However, that means that Salaman is going to have a lot. It's going to have like 60, and then it's probably just going to go for another armor. Oh, no, it's 70. It's probably going to... Is it going to go for two? No, it doesn't. Oh, good. We can kill this thing before it gets uh, more chance to put more armor on. So, let's see. So, I'm going to do 19,000. Oh, is that... 
Oh, that must have been for it because it's got the half armor. I was going to say. So one, two, three kills it anyway. Factor in two and then three reserve. I think, right? Fingers crossed. Yeah, 12,000. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so it does take away from my attack. That's good. That's good. I like that. Nice. Well done, Lutie. You did good. Okay, so this one, however. Oh, yep, it's got. it's going to have lots of blocks. It's going to have a lot of blocky. If I put my salamander out and just went for loads of, like, armor. Like, I, I'm, I'm really tempted to see how high I can go with it. <laughs> you fool! Do I get anything for KOing? Yes! Opponent KO, sweet! So I can switch now to the... I want to try this. I want to, like, armor v armor. So I don't do that much damage. But here we go. I think I can... I think I've got eight, don't I? So I could go for two armors right off the bat. <laughs> I think so. So there it is. I got two reinforcers. So I just have to go for five here. And then we go for another one. That's 48. So I've got four armor as well as 48%. <laughs> oh, this is pretty look. I'm like invincible at this point. Um, we may as well just go for another one. So next turn, I can go for another armor. <laughs> this is brilliant. And I've got 26,000 health and I do 1,800 damage. Oh, look at that. I didn't even go for this. I didn't even go for this. This is invested. There's dividends. Paying off dividends. So one, two, three. In comes another one. Brilliant. So that takes me to what? It should be 70... 74? 72? 72%. Okay. So we'll put another one in. And then we get an extra 20 when it's our next turn. <laughs> look, he does 237 damage to us now. Oh, you went through, but you did literally nothing. <laughs> this is great. I love this. Let's keep going. And another one. Can, so, can we, is, does it just go to this next one and that's it? Let's see. Let's see. I'm curious. So, he does, he does 200 and... Oh, that's it. 75. Is, well, that's not very fair, is it? <laughs> I got 3% extra armor and I spent all my goes on that. Yay. Well, we may as well kill him now. Um, because he's going to be able to do another armor. So, three is the most you want to do, and the rest is just kind of wasted. It shouldn't let you. It should be like, oh, you can't get any more armor. It's dead anyway. So, we need to do this one more time. Look at you, you're floppy. Yes. I mean, these battles are great. They're loads of fun. Just doing, like, the different sort of boss things. If you could do this PvP, oh, it'd be so good. So much. And make the rewards good as well. Like, lots of DNA. No, truck loads. 100,000 DNA. Belly. <laughs> so we do the same again, I suppose. Like the T-Rex with that. I mean, what's the primal roll? What's this one? Deal damage to opposing creature. Reduce target's attack. Okay. It probably just gives you like two extra attack. I'm assuming. Deal damage equal to 250% of attack power to opposing creature. And reduce attack of a target by 24%. I'm kind of tempted to try that. But then again, I'm not getting anything from my team. At least the revive. I, I think, honestly, that champion raw is just so good. Um, and Juggernaut, does Juggernaut have any extra moves as well? No, just the charge up. I think... Oh, oh god, no, that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> go for that one. Then back to boss. And then we'll go for Salamander, I suppose. Yeah. I'd like to see what the other ones can do. But maybe we'll have a look at that. Yes. Oh, it looks so cool. Looks so cool. Right. We'll just we'll just go. You know what? Start going for reserves. We'll just keep going for this. Like, give everything extra health and extra attack. I think it's one of the last ones that the um. I was gonna say Morton Rex unlocks, but it's not Morton Rex. <laughs> it's Omega. So you got. Ooh, you got four. You can do a lot of damage to me. Oh wait. Did I? I think I just wasted that. Well, anyway, here we go. So extra damage. Oh, it's a different... Is it a different battle arena? It looks different. I think it is, is it not? Ooh, that's quite nice. There's a 4,000 health. Just keep going. Keep on going. With, oh, he wasted three there. Nice. Oh, are you going to go for it? Are you going to go for your defense? No, it doesn't. Okay, same turn. And here we go. Another one. Yeah, it's just, I think if I got this to level 60, I could go for this pretty confidently that nothing will kill me. 
Oh, and how much health? Another 20,000! Oh, he's... <laughs> May as well! I mean, if I die, it means that at least Juggernaut gets to go for its, like, attack straight away. I think it gets two extra attack and increases its attack. So here we go. Doing its armor, and it means it gets two extra blocks. So I don't really want to attack it now. Um, so we'll just do one extra and get even more. Like, <laughs> you're not increase. Look, it's just getting better for me. He's not increasing his, his attack at all. It's just giving me even more health. Every time I get more health. So come on, let's keep going. Yeah, you can wait. Six block. <laughs> well, you are worried, aren't you? And everything else gets more as well. It's, it's, just, it's just a really good time. So we'll do one final one. And then we'll just go for reserves. Get ready to swap out to Juggernaut and just see what Juggernaut can do. Really good. I mean, o Omega's just got so much. Whoa, how much does everything else get? It gets like an equivalent for their own HP. Okay. So it's not just off the board. Everyone gets like 10,000 extra. But Juggernaut does have a lot of health, I suppose. It is level 31. Oh, he has seven. Oh, this could do a lot. Of Six. Oh, how much damage? Oh, still, I've still got more health than I started with. It's ridiculous. I'll go for four here and I'll put the rest into there. So next time, Juggernaut should be able to get off its attack straight away. I don't really want it to get its defense here. That's great. Okay. And I think Valkyrie just gives itself more reserves, I think. So we'll swap in. Gain attack points and attack a boost. Heck yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so we'll do this. So already, we can do like nine attack, right? Can we do nine attack? Oh no, I only get one extra. Ah, oh, that would oh, that could have been so cool. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so two kills it. Factor in two just in case. And then four reserves. And we kill it. Wallop. So this is what... Jurassic World look like after Mount Cyber erupted. Cool. There's no lava, though. That would have been a cool idea. They should have done that. Just hear me again, giving them all the greatest ideas. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Extra reserves. Are you going to do your thingy? No. Okay. There it is. Oh, it's got eight. Oh, it swapped. Why? Why, though? Why did you swap? <laughs> Uh, okay. Wait, every turn do I get more? Oh my god, every turn I get more and more attack. That's amazing. Heck yeah, let's go. I didn't realize it was like a passive thing. Oh, we just want to survive then. Sweet. So there you go. Charge up and we do a little bit of an attack. But you know what? I'll go for that. We got 36,000 health. Oh, never no, do it for five reserves. Good god. So, oh, right, it went for four reserves and five block. So does it always get extra every time? Like a passive? I mean, that makes sense why it's got that repeating cycle, like the icon next to it. So charge up an extra thousand. We may as well kill it and we charge up. Oh, it's, oh, it's. Oh, it does a lot. It does a lot. Um, I mean, I've got 36,000, right? I don't even think it could do that much damage if it goes for eight. Honestly, let's have fun with this. I don't think it could kill me if it went for eight. I've got loads of attack now. I've got loads of health. How far can I make my attack go up is the question. Let's go for two reserves. Sod it. It went for five block anyway. I mean, I, I could kill it. I could kill it. Oh, I can almost kill it in one now. So there you go. It gets extra. Okay. I mean, you could give yourself more attack. But what are you doing? Why are you, why are you not doing this? A charge up, so an extra 1,700. And then an extra 2,100. It just keeps going and going. So, and another one, 2,700. We've got 13,000 attack. Oh, we did. I'm, I just want to do it, man. This is awesome. You know, this was Ludia looking at what everyone else did who could hack the game in Jurassic World the game, which was just basically have nine, level 99, 99, plus dinosaurs. But they've just decided to put it in the game. And it seems like they're just stuck in an endless cycle. I'm going to have more attack than I have health. And no creature in Jurassic World the game ever has more attack than it has health. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure. But nothing has it. Oh, okay. So it finally went for it. It finally used a lot of its goes. 
to give it some uh, passive attack increase. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, I went for two attack. <gasps> How dare you. Okay, so we're on 13,000. Uh, okay, so first charge up. 3,000 extra. Second charge up. 4,000 extra. Next charge up. 5,000 extra. And next charge up. 6,000 <laughs> 34,000 damage, man. Okay, yeah. Okay, one last one. One last one just to see where we have six attack boosts. Whoa, I've never, never, ever seen that much. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have a lot of blocks. It's got a lot of passive goes because of the Pteranodon, which keeps on giving it. So it has the charge up now, which gives it more. And the prepare, which gives it... Did it already give it? I don't know. Maybe it did. Okay, let's see. So, oh, it does five attack. Oh, that's more like it. That's going to do a lot of damage. 13,000. Okay, but here we go. We're on 34,000 damage. Oh, big sign. 43,000. Okay. Oh, that's just 10,000 damage right off the bat. Okay. 13,000 damage. Next. Okay, next one. 16,000 damage. Next one. 21,000 damage. And I think... Is that it? Yeah, that's... I got 105,000 damage. Oh my god! So what what do we do? Uh, does it make a difference? I'm like, how much damage is that? How much damage is that? Six hundred and seventy-four thousand damage! Oh my god! And because I've survived, I'm just gonna get even more. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it put some put some of them in waste. Two into that to give yourself more reserves, I suppose. You get them back. Right? But as p they're already... Yeah, you get them back, but they're already set as reserves. Or you just get one extra. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I don't even want it. 26,000. 32,000. <laughs> okay. 41. Like, I like how Salamanders was, was capped. But, uh, Juggernaut 32? No, that was not capped. <laughs> 400. Okay, I am really curious how much 8 damage. You know, because it, it multiplies every time. And I might need the calculator out to find out how much I get here. I don't think he's going to kill me if he goes for 8. No, he doesn't. Okay, but I, I don't want to be hit by loads of block, though. I want to do as much damage as I can. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I mean, it doesn't matter. If one goes through, I've killed him, right? But I just want to, I want to see how much. I mean, we will see at the bottom, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on how many digits we've got. So already, this is how much? One. I do 1,471,000 damage. Well, 733 damage. So if I do... If I did 8 attack damage, it would do 29,434,650 damage if he didn't block at all. But he blocked for 6. So I do how much? What, like, I do 4 damage, which is 3,500,000 damage. <laughs> it should just be like, that's what should happen to it. And dead. Ooh, a boss prize wheel. After all of that, after all that that I did, I get 9,000 amber. And you know what? Sod it. It's 15 bucks. I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, another 9. So we got, what, 18, 19,000 there? I guess that's not so bad. But it's loads of fun. I love doing those boss battles. They're great. I wish I could do it more with blue. But the way it is, I can't. Because blue is just... It's unusable. I mean, I could, maybe I could use it in some smaller battles, but apart from... Hey. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and hopefully I'll probably see you at the weekend with that new creature. Uh, the Ornithomimus coming out soon. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>